Hey guys, this episode we're going to be talking about the load async method in Active Record in Rails 7. Now, when you run a database query in Rails, you define your query and your controller typically, and then when it gets to the views, that is when the actual database um, query is executed. And the reason for that is your database queries are lazily executed so they can be defined in one place, like in your controller, but when they're actually used, that's when it triggers the execution. So you're not accidentally loading stuff too early and so on. Um, so this is a really useful feature of Rails, and we can take a look at this real quick. This page queries the database for four things, genres, videos, categories, and tags. I did some extra querying stuff on here um, just because. Um, so we're basically querying the title, which is not indexed, and then we're ordering by created at, ascending, and we're limiting to 1,000 records for each one of these. So we're rendering out 4,000 different records on the page.